Well, Kenny, it's been a difficult week in terms of results and obviously the performance at Clay. Just some of your emotions over the last 48 hours since the defeat at Broadwood. Well, I, I spoke to the players after the game. I was, this, this game's all about um, results and the, the, the obvious thing now is the position that we are in the league. But that the, the second half on, on, on Tuesday was was really really disappointing. You know, that's, that's when record is saying it was the I think the worst performance we've had, and I can't even think of any any uh, worst performances in that second half. Probably some supporters will probably say that they, they can remember. Um, but aye, that was against ten men. I don't think you should ever uh, lose a game, um, and that was a great opportunity yet again for us to go and get three points on the board and. The sending off had a big bear in the game. You know, we we went a negative way after that in terms of our, our outlook in the game, and, and it certainly had a positive effect on Clyde because they, um, if it was a neutral coming in and watching it, they'd have probably thought we had ten men and Clyde had eleven. But it was certainly a, a really really poor display, and uh, we got out of the game exactly what we deserved because you know the second half was was, was dire. What has been the reaction of the players over the last couple of days and has there been an element of soul searching by everybody? Well, I, I left them to, uh, on Tuesday. And I mean, we, we, we sat and had a discussion after the game and spent a great deal of time and analysing what we, as we always do, but I think when, it, when you've got to try and react to that straight away, uh, that defeat, hopefully the players are hurting. Uh, I think it would be a, a big question mark against them if they weren't. So. But you've got to temper that with you've got to go with them again on Saturday, albeit you might change things around a little bit. But you've got to be very, very careful how you you choose your words. And you know um, we'll have a, a, a few players who are younger players who are um, experienced in first team football for the first time in their careers. So they are now going through a little stage of uh, soul searching to find out. And, and as managers and coaches, you're, you're, you're looking at uh, there's only one person can take the blame. For Tuesday, as far as I'm concerned, is myself because it's me. It's picking the team. It's me. It's making the substitutions. So the players, uh, albeit didn't do particularly well on the part, but there's only one person who takes the blame, and that's and that's myself. And you take all the adulation uh, for, for when things go well. Uh, so you've certainly got to stand up and be counted when when things are not going so well, and that's something that I'll never hide away from. How do you lift the players ahead of the game against St Johnston on Saturday after such a disappointing defeat? Well, in many ways, it's, it's probably the perfect game to come back to. You know, the um, league leaders coming to our place, and Airdrie being Airdrie, will probably get a tune out of the players and, and maybe get a performance and a, a result, hopefully. Um, but as it's well now, after Saturday, that's us halfway through the season, and we'll be bottom of the table. So it's up to us to try and, as, a, as myself and, and the staff. And the players as well, because they take responsibility of lifting each other. Uh, and we'll come in here positive, and hopefully um, we can give the supporters, because the, the supporters and the people um, involved in the club, you know, the Ballantines and all the, the people who want Airdrie to, to succeed, they would have been hurting on Tuesday as well. And uh, the supporters that braved the elements to go to Broadwood um, would be hurting. So uh, we've got a, a duty, I think, to to try and put a performance on for them and, and, and get back to uh, a bit of credibility because, as I say, getting beat to ten men was, was was really, really difficult to take. The fans are, are obviously concerned about the league position over the past couple of days. I mean, what do you think it's going to take to get out of, of where you are just now? Well, hard hard work. I mean, it always is hard work and I think we hard work means that I think we certainly have to defend a lot better. We have to take a lot more care where passing. And I think we've got to try and, up the other end of the park, uh, we need to try and be more of a goal threat. And that's just not down to the solely the strikers, it's down to everybody. You know, midfield players chipping in with a good pass or a good cross. Um, defenders who come up for set plays have got to chip in with goals. So we've got to be looking at everyone, you know. And, uh, and if we can do that and, as I say, take a bit of responsibility, we'll be, we'll, we'll be fine. Just finally, Kenny, obviously... The fans are desperate for word on new signings. Just how hard are you working behind the scenes to, to bring new players into the club when the window opens? Well, extremely hard. Um, that, that's, it's something that you go with. Um, that comes the 1st of January, uh, there will not be five and six and seven players coming in because we don't have the budget for that. Uh, but certainly we've been uh, 
really, really active in, in terms of behind the scenes to try and identify players by going to watch reserve games and going to watch um, any type of football that, that we can somebody that can bring something to to the club, and we'll, we'll continue to do that. And we're not going to make any promises how many players or who they are or what teams are coming from, but certainly we kind of continue to go along as we are because we've we've not got a, a strong enough squad, you know, and. Uh, even early in the season, if you can remember the, the times I was saying that, that, that after the 0-0 game against Dunfermline, at Dunfermline, everybody was saying that was a good point. But I knew straight away that, that these type of performances were going to eventually catch up with us, the consistency level. And uh, I had to try and safeguard against not getting too carried away, which I didn't. Um, so we, 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 we kind of knew this little run would be coming because it was going to be a really, really difficult season for us this year. and It's, it's going that way just now, but we'll, we'll be fine. I think once, once we get back to what we're good at um, and get back to the confidence for the players as well, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll kick on again. Excellent, thanks.